Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about portfolios. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, portfolio sites are a popular enough way for juniors developer, junior developers to show off their skills and improve their chances of getting the first job. Do mid-level developers still do portfolio sites and is it a good idea? Yes. Uh, yes and no, I would say a little bit uh, depending on uh, how you look at it. So I want to back this up a little bit first and foremost and ask the fundamental question. Why do you need a portfolio site? Well, why you need one is it's probably a little bit of a leading question. Why would you want to make one, I would say? Well, most of the portfolio, uh, most of the junior developers who are making portfolio sites, I would say anybody who makes a portfolio site, what you're fundamentally trying to do is that you're trying to show off your skills. You're trying to show that you know how to make something and have something to show to an employer so that they can see that you know the thing that you know. I have, I make, uh, I have a few of my own personal products. I have to this day never made a portfolio site. Well, I did make, I think I made a really shitty video where I kind of, because I got the question, like, how do I set up my portfolio thing? And I made this, like, uh, I mean, you can even do it. I, I think the specifically was with uh, Amazon EC2 instances, etc., etc. And I kind of just did this. You can, I, it's still here on this channel uh, somewhere, anyway, uh, where I just showed how to set up portfolio sites. And that's it. But I've never myself created a, a site for the purpose of showing somebody else that I know how to do these things because what I usually do is that like for me because that's the thing that I get enjoyment from one part is that I make these videos and like I try to help out other developers or I make educational videos where I try to show off some of the thoughts that I have about certain things because that's the thing that I'm passionate about other things that I like to do is to I've done a few meetups like I've done a few con one or two conferences where I've done presentations uh, and then of course I really like to learn a lot about a lot of different things like I'm, I watch tons of different YouTube videos and I take courses and I do a little bit of uh, like hack the box capture the flag types of things and some lead code stuff like I have a lot of different things that I like to do and then I have personal projects as well that are not really things that I show off it's just something that exists on my github I don't really it's I, I, I do think I have one or two open source projects that actually do have some downloads, but that's that's about it, right? The the rant that I just went on here, and I, the, like the thing that I was talking about, this is all I ever do when I talk to an employer, and to this day, I have never ever gotten the feedback that uh, like lost an opportunity. Like I've gone to every single interview I've ever gone to, and this like uh, uh, well, practically uh, no, actually, yeah. Every single interview I've ever had has ended up with me getting through that interviewing stage, where like a portfolio, or like the the where that part when you do the personal interview, where you show off your skills in some fashion. Every single time I get through that thing, and I get through that thing because I'm doing the thing that the portfolio site is there to do. I am showing through some means that I'm a passionate developer who loves doing software th like things with software and I have the skills to do a varying degree of things I do different things and so uh, a, a range of different things and I like to talk about it and I, like I, I keep active I keep myself relevant and I keep myself updated I have I have a lot of things that like I have an, an active a style a lifestyle that is actively revolving around software development that's the thing that you're looking for you're not necessarily looking for portfolio sites you're looking for proof that you care about software development and that you have the skills to do this the, this thing well and you can do that in so many ways and that's why I think that it's important for you to understand that I'm not saying that you shouldn't make portfolio sites. If you really, like, as an example, if you are a front-end developer and you really like making, like doing, say, something like design, that's a good example. If you like designing websites and then implementing them, then portfolio sites are like the, 
it's the perfect thing for you because it's something that you enjoy it's something that you actually do it's something that you're passionate about and that means that you can sit there and you can make these beautiful websites and you can show them off of course and then that's a way for you to show your skills but it also gives you something to talk about in the interview but the same thing would be true if let's say that you did competitive coding or let's say that you did um, you made blog articles and tutorials on say medium or YouTube or something like that you're doing things that express who you are um, in uh, that you have and that you have an interest in software development and that is the thing that uh, that's the value building thing and that continues being valuable for the rest of your career it, uh, I mean, I'd like to say that the, 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 how much these things matter usually is uh, they, they change a little bit over time. So when you're a junior developer, you don't have any experience. And when you don't have any experience, the only thing that people will evaluate on is usually the, the stuff. Like, and that's why I say that passion is like the main thing. For a, for a junior developer, you need to know some tools and you need to know the core, like the basics and so forth. But most of what's gonna it's gonna come down to is what type of impression do you give to the people who are doing the interviews and doing things like the, what I'm describing, not necessarily portfolio sites, but just being active and showing very clearly that you have a lot of stuff going on that is relevant to coding. That's the sort of stuff that they want to see. That is still very, very interesting for companies when you're at the mid-level and even at the senior level. But then skills, like of course, also matter more. Like your experience becomes more and more relevant because, as you can imagine, if they're going to pay you a uh, ton and tons and tons of money, you have no idea the sort of money that you can make when you're like getting to be a bit of an expert in something, especially if it's like high-stakes stuff. Uh, they want to make sure that you have the skills to perform. But the the passion for your craft and the, the it's infectious. It's something that they, I promise you they will want in the company. So if it's down to between you and some other person who doesn't really care about doing these sorts of things and they don't really sell that they're passionate about their craft all that well, usually you will get the job. And I promise you, you will. Uh, you, if if you can just find something that you find enjoyable, that is a little bit outside the daily grind or like the work-related stuff, uh, that's going to be enough. You don't have to sit and make portfolio sites if you don't want to. As long as you have something that is hobby level or something semi-serious that's worth talking about, you will get the same benefits, or at least many of the same benefits, as you would have with the portfolio site. So, what I want you to take away from this is that yes, even a mid-level developer, uh, I'm not saying that they do, because like, at the end of the day, skills are what matters usually. So, a mid-level developer or a senior developer who has a proven track record of many years of work or something like that, they don't have to make portfolio sites, but I strongly encourage you to explore things if, if you have that inclination explore things in software that you might not be doing uh, at work or things that you just find interesting because that's the thing that people call a rockstar developer rockstar developers have as i like to call a lifestyle around software development they are a positive influence and they bring passion to the table these things are always good things for a junior developer it's probably the most important thing that you can possibly bring to the table because you don't have experience but even when you have experience it's a positive thing that in many cases will dictate whether or not you get the job i can only speak from personal experience but i can tell you that uh, the things that i do uh, that i love doing in software development and like you know, all the youtube things and like the meetups etc etc these are always things that come back as a positive thing for me in every single interview I've ever taken. And it also comes back in the form of more recruiters con contacting me, etc, etc. Guys, make some noise about the things that you love in software development. It doesn't have to be portfolio sites. Just show people that you like what you're doing. That's going to be good enough, I promise you. And it's going to continue paying off for the rest of your career. Have a great day.